Game Caviar. Another episode. This is the Batman Arkham City Edition. I'm your host as always, Batman. No, I'm not gonna act. I'm not gonna act like I'm Batman, but this is not happening. As always, as usual, back again. This is the first couple minutes of Arkham City. Uh, this video is gonna be about 10 or so minutes long. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's 10 minutes long, it's just before 10 minutes, and the good part is this game is freaking amazing, and I love playing it, and I had to stop playing it so I can make a video to share with the world and um, put my opinions to the video. Now, right now, I start off playing this Catwoman. Um, if you bought the game, there's a, a code inside of the, uh, inside of the game case. And that allows you to unlock unlock Catwoman's um, storyline. I don't know. I don't think this. Maybe maybe it's in every game case. I know it was in mine. I don't think it was like a special uh, pre-order thing. I don't know. I got mine from Amazon.com. I don't even know whether I got a pre-order bonus. I'm hoping that it's money off because I, I can always take $10 off my next video game purchase. I would rather have that than, uh, I don't know, say... Uh, a damn computer wallpaper like they gave me for Modern Warfare 3 or something stupid like that or, or a damn outfit for my uh, character in home which I never fucking use but anyway yeah you start off playing this Catwoman and it's pretty awesome the controls are the same as they were uh, the last game um, actually you know what I don't know whether they're the same or not because I played the first Arkham Asylum on uh, Xbox but right here you see uh, Two-Face takes Catwoman and he held, he holds her hostage. This intro right here is is very cinematic and it's it's movie like. And I the whole you know one of my friends said that the intro sets off the whole game and it's true. It really is true. This intro is damn good and it really got me in the mood to play this game. Um, Do Sex also is a very good game that has a very good intro. The intros you know it's like the first impression. But not this game, because this game is a sequel. But you know, there's Bruce Wayne right there, the uh, the hero of this whole shebang. Uh, I haven't really played that much in the uh, in, of the game. I played the first. Uh, I don't know. I played. Uh, I played up. I played a little while. I don't know how much. Uh, I know Batman is going to be the main hero, but I don't. I wanted to see if if how other characters are. Uh, are used in this in this game as as um, opposed to the first game where it was just strictly Batman. Um, I'm really excited to get through this game, and I think I'm going to stay up pretty late to uh, see if I can beat it or get close to beating it. Um, I'm actually off of work this week, so I have a lot of time to just sit at home and play video games. It's pretty amazing. Uh, apparently, uh, Bruce Wayne had a plan for him to actually get arrested and thrown in Arkham City. Yeah, Arkham City. So his plan actually worked because in the middle of his press conference, he uh, he look, look at that. I mean, that's simple, but it's so effective. But he gets up he, he right here. You can see him. He's about to get arrested and thrown in Arkham City, which is ran by Doctor Hugo Strange, which is he, his name fits him. He's a really strange mofo. But here you go, boom, gun butt to the head, you're done, you're out. You get waking up by Hugo Strange and he's gonna talk to you. Apparently Hugo Strange figured out who Batman was. I'm not too sure, I can understand that uh, it's a comic book and it's fictional and everything, but in real life I'm pretty sure you would've known, somebody would've figured out who, who Batman was if he was real, a real character. And they actually have real superheroes who get, who dress up and they fight crime. Which is, I, I think it's illegal. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. And the only reason why Batman never got arrested is because he's Batman. You're gonna arrest Batman? Seriously. And there's not any. There's. I never understood that. There's not. There's no super villains in real life. I mean, you have like dictators and everything, but you don't have like Two Face and, and Riddlers and you know Lex Luthor's running around, you know, causing mayhem. You don't have that, so there's no need for somebody to be like, I'm gonna make this costume. I'm gonna dress up in this costume, and I'm gonna fight crime. No, you just call the cops. That's what you have police for. All right, right here, they, uh, I'm trying to get out of my chair. It took me a little while to figure this out. <laughs> uh, I finally got it, and I'm glad I did. Otherwise, I'd look completely uh, embarrassed. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
There was actually a guy up in, where was it, Seattle? That got arrested recently, and he was like a damn, you know, one of those real-life superheroes. They have a website, and I shit you not, that lists all the, all the superheroes and, you know, where they're from and, you know, what they stand for, and it's, it's embarrassing. Anyway, just got me some something. What is that, a, a memory card or something? And then I'm going to take a beat in a little bit, and this is all a show. This is all a show. You might think that you have Bruce Wayne down, but it's all a show because I will prevail. I'm Batman. Well, I mean, he's Batman. Pretty cool. <laughs> I switched around so you can get a good look of Bruce Wayne. And right now, I'm, I guess I'm being processed into Arkham City. This game is so freaking amazing. And Arkham City is so big. It is like the, the uh, it's like playing Grand Theft Auto, but you're Batman instead of, you know, Nico or Tommy Versetti or something. And, you know, you don't go around beating up hookers and, and stealing cars. You go around, you beat up bad guys, and you're Batman. Ah, uh, there's Hugo Strange again. Yeah, like I said, I played a, a few. I had a run-in with Penguin. Uh... I think this, yeah, I think that's part of this video. I had a run-in with Penguin, I had a run-in with Two-Face, I had a run-in with, uh, kinda had a run-in with Joker. I saw uh, Quinn, his, uh, his, his sidekick, you know, she's wearing a really skimpy outfit. Now, I, I know she's a computer-generated character, but seriously, they need to make that as a real-life Halloween costume, and I think they have. I think they should if they don't, seriously. Uh, Catwoman, of course, is in here, and she's, she's just like the character of Catwoman. She's just, you know, mischievous, like a cat. Right now, I'm getting into a fight. They're trying to punk me, but I'm Bruce Wayne, and I don't play that, so I'm going to beat him down. Oh, look at that. One thing that I did notice is that when you finally get your bat suit, you suit up and everything, um, which is unfortunate not shown in this video, but... When you suit up and everything, you, you have all your gadgets from the first uh, Arkham Asylum, which is your, your Batarang, your Batcall, your Gel, and you also have time to, uh, to uh, not time, but you have opportunity to upgrade. Yeah, every time every time you beat down somebody, you get uh, points to where to upgrade, and that's how you level up, and then you can upgrade a certain ability. Like, I upgraded to a, uh, I upgraded my bat suit to withstand uh, melee attacks, you know, something like that. And then there was a part where you, I used a smoke grenade, and then I had the opportunity to actually keep on, you know, upgrading to keep on using the smoke grenade, which is pretty cool because there wasn't a smoke grenade in the first Arkham Asylum. I like that. It shows progress. There's Penguin. We're going to get into it. And I'm going to beat him down because I'm Batman. Oh. He thinks that's cool, but, you know, it's not. Because, boom. There we go. Boom. Broke his arm. And now. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Wait for it. For it. Boom, broke the handcuffs. Now, if you thought fighting Bruce Wayne was a, a tough, uh, you know, a tall glass of water when he was handcuffed, just imagine how bad it is when, you know, when he doesn't have any handcuffs. And even if I was, I'd be looking at this like, man, this dude's a billionaire. How? He fights really well. You know, and it's not like his subconscious is armed like an in Inception. This is like really, he's really kicking butt in this game. I'd be like, maybe he's Batman. Is he Batman? I, I think well he's Batman. That, I mean, that just goes to show that, you know, maybe it's not that hard to figure out who Batman really is. Um, of course, this is the special, like I said, uh, Arkham City version. Pow. I just managed to. I wasn't part of the game. I just wanted to go punch him. And I did. But yeah, this is a special Arkham City version of uh, Game Caviar. I don't really have any real news to uh, to uh, report. The news at the bottom of the screen is all Gotham City related. And the, the, this, this story, these, uh, the news that you see at the bottom of the screen during this video have come from reputable sources, of course. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't report the flimsiness. Right now, I'm trying to, uh, 
I'm trying to uh, Uncharted 3 my way up this damn these buildings and so I can get to the top and call Alfred so he can send me my oh, shit. And you know my shit, meaning the damn bad too. But anyway, this video is over. I'm gonna put up more videos of it. Thanks for all the support. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. This has been Game Caviar. I'm not having it as always, and I'm out.